Okay guys, this is the second video to cover the Boom Explosions Toolkit Actors. Uh, this should be the only other one. Um, this one will be covering the After Effects Actors. So I'll just quickly run this to show what they are. So when I explode this toxic barrel here, you see this smoke and we've got a sound some damage happening and a post-processing. So that's what basically the After Effect actors control. We also have a burnt out mesh here, which after some time, um, once this runs out, I think it's 20 seconds, so I won't hang around, but that will go away. So in order to make a new After Effects actor, you wanna right click on this, go create child blueprint class and give this a name. So we'll just call this example uh, After Effects. And same deal with the explosion actor, open it up, close it, and then open it again, and you just get the settings. Now this one is quite a lot smaller than the explosion actor because it doesn't have all the projectile settings and stuff. But it's important to remember this actually is attached to the explosion actors. So your lifetime, this is what it sounds like, this is how long the after effects will last. Um, if you have a persistent mesh, then that exploded barrel mesh we see, after this lifetime, it will kill off the post-processing, the particle effects and the sound, but the mesh will hang around. Um, and so this might be useful for people that want to have burnt out meshes in their world permanently and that sort of thing. Now the deactivation time is how long it takes from the, uh, like how long it takes the sound to fade out and the particle effect to fade away. So your lifetime will determine how long everything is in effect and then there will be a period after that where things are turning off. The damage will stop after the lifetime, but your sound will fade out. So let's grab this guy, let's find the After Effects actor and let's just give this, so instead of 20 we'll give it a 5 second one. And we'll just do that again. Let's move this guy out of the way. And so one, two, three, four, five. Now the damage stops, sound starts to fade away, particles fade away, and the post-processing will come off as the actor goes away. So that's what that does. Um, put that back to 20. Now, what else do we have? So we've got the height offset, that's the same as the explosion actor, just, um, gives it an offset so that if you wanted it to spawn at a different place on this mesh, then you can. An inherent rotation, this is really important for physics actors, so if this barrel can be pushed around, you want to make sure this is on because otherwise it's going to spawn with the new mesh just straight up and down. So if you have inherent rotation, it will take the rotation of this actor when it spawns this one and apply that. Actor tick is not my settings, that's something with the Unreal Engine I can't hide. Um, so we've got the option to make it cause damage, set a damage radius, set how much damage it receives and how uh, gives off and how often, and also the damage type. So you can set it up to use a gas cloud and that sort of thing. And then finally, the sound and visuals of it all. So we've got the mesh, if you want to use one, you just leave this clear if you don't want one. Um, whether you want the mesh to be a physics object or not, so you can push it around, and if it is a physics object, how much it weighs. That will determine how easy it is for the player to push it around. If you want to use a particle effect, you'd set that up in here, and you set the scale of the particle effect. Now, I've given it the option to scale up particle effects, and that's because, by default, so if we leave this at 10, and we don't scale it, give me a second to minimize that one. So if we do this, Without the scaling, straight away it's there and it looks a little bit odd. So what we do is we give it the option to scale up. And then, over a very short period of time, you can see it starts off small and it goes up. Now it's very, very quick. It happens over about half a second or so. But it just gives you the option to um, have that scale a little bit and make it look a bit nicer. We have an option to play a sound with the After Effect. You can leave that blank if you don't want one. And then finally, the post-processing. So you can set up any post-processing, including using a blendable if you wanted um, to happen on the player around there. If you don't want to use it, you just leave it blank. And that's it, guys. So that's the After Effect actor. 
um, and that covers both actor types in two videos. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any feedback or questions or criticisms, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Cheers.